Welcome to Man United Transfers News Update. PLC stay tuned to the end of the video. Please before starting the video. Like and share the video please before starting the video. Like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Please also put your thoughts in the comments below. Manchester United have made a change which could convince Paul Pogba to stay. The main talking points and highlights as Man United beat Everton in their final preseason fixture on Saturday. Six players pass the opening day audition. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer didn't hide the fact positions were still up for grabs when he named his Manchester United side to face Everton in the final preseason outing on Saturday lunchtime. United begin their new Premier League campaign in the same time slot next weekend when they welcome Leeds to Old Trafford, it looks like they are in good shape for it. Six players made their first appearances of the summer for United from the start against Everton and all of them passed those auditions for the opening day encounter. David De Gea is the sensible choice in a goal amid Dean Henderson's absence, while Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof are also the logical, albeit safe, centre-back partnership. Luke Shaw and Bruno Fernandes are certainties after their encouraging returns and Anthony Marshall might be the only fit centre-forward with Edinson Cavani yet to return to training. Solskjaer had been hesitant to trial his new-look midfield in preseason given so many senior stars were away, but their return prompted a timely formation switch. Nemanja Matic bossed the center of the park in his rejuvenated defensive role and anchored the side with his experience and discipline at the base of the midfield. The switch from a defensive pair to a solo operator worked wonders for United, allowing Donny van de Beek to get plenty of the ball in a box-to-box -box role while Bruno Fernandes was allowed to indulge in his favored number 10 capacity. This formation switch could also be the key to getting the best out of Paul Pogba in the upcoming season and granting him such attacking freedom might actually end up convincing him to sign a new long-term deal. Lionel Messi's proposed move to Paris Saint-Germain leaves Pogba with less hope of leaving Manchester before transfer deadline day, United's positive tactical switch and summer signings could even convince him that staying would be the best decision all along. No youngsters involved. United have handed plenty of minutes to youngsters during preseason but for their season dress rehearsal, it was a return to the senior stars in need of valuable fitness for the visit of Leeds. There was a belief that any academy graduate to shine in the friendly matches would be given the chance to show their worth in the first team over the next season, it doesn't seem like any will get an immediate chance. Joe Hudgel and Hannibal Medjbury were both in action as the U23s drew 2-2 with Kidderminster on Friday with Anthony Alanga perhaps the only teenager to be in with a real chance of starting the season in the first team. The Swedish teenager is currently sidelined through injury but watched on from the stands of Old Trafford this weekend. He is certainly the one closest to making a permanent transition into the senior setup. Pickford performance highlights how good United defenders are. Jordan Pickford enjoyed another stellar summer at the international level, but he won't be getting a free ride at club level if he keeps producing so many errors. His first half showing at Old Trafford was a schoolboy and a reminder of the reoccurring worries which continue to underpin his reputation on the global stage. However, perhaps the real lesson to learn is that his summer form came as part of a well-drilled back four which featured United duo Shaw and Maguire, two players currently operating at a world-class standard. With the impending arrival of Rafael Varane to further bolster their ranks next week, it might not be long before United legitimately have the best defense in world football once again. A new role for McTominay. With less than a week to go until the start of the new season, it is still rather alarming how many potentially key decisions appear to be unresolved. There is no firm clarity on who the first-choice goalkeeper will be, no significant departures of fringe players and too many players who don't appear to have a specialist role to play. With the proposed change in midfield, another firm decision will need to be made on the roles Scott McTominay, Fred and Van de Beek will occupy. Though it at least looks like one of those has an answer. McTominay has been used as an auxiliary defender for the Scotland national team but was viewed by Solskjaer as an attacking threat after the former academy forward netted seven goals last season. Though with few defensive midfield specialists at the club it could well be the Scott who thrives in such a setup and his centre-back cameo from the bench was further evidence of the defensive quality he can bring to the side. Thanks for watching.